Hi guys, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about X. This one, although it wasn't in my most anticipated video, uh, I was really excited about this one. Actually, it just didn't make it because I wasn't really aware of it. I didn't know about this film, I just didn't know it was supposed to come out this year. But as soon as I watched the trailer, I was in. And actually, I really debated if I should watch the trailer because I was just really into it. It's an A24 film, it's a slasher, it's directed by Ty West, who I really like. It has a stellar cast with Jenna Ortega, who just became like, I think, everyone's favorite new scream queen and yeah i was so stoked about this film so obviously i had to make it work into my schedule and yeah let's get to it so if you can i think you should go in as blind as possible as i said i did watch the trailer just once when it was uh released and since then, I haven't seen anything. I tried to stay away from anything really because I feel like there's the potential to be spoiled. And I haven't seen the trailer since watching the film. But something tells me that the trailer does give away something, which was something interesting to discover. So I'm gonna be like really vague and just tell you what I think. You should know like the basics and actually what I did know going into it. So X takes place in 1974 uh, when a group of young filmmakers go to this secluded farmhouse to film an adult movie and as the night falls things get pretty violent. That's pretty much it. You already know this is a slasher so there's like blood and stuff involved. Obviously things are gonna get crazy. Again, as I said, this one has like a stellar cast that includes Mia Goth, Jenna Ortega, Brittany Snow, Kid Cudi and other actors. One of them uh, that I wasn't aware of but he's in Super Dark Times which is a movie that I really like and it's super dark. Um, so yeah, pretty good cast, uh, love the director, love the production company, the distributor A24, so let's get to my thoughts. Because of everything that I told you just like seconds ago, I do have to admit that I was super super excited, I had really high expectations. So that did play a part on what I felt towards the film, uh, which is that although I think it's a pretty good film and it's super entertaining, I just wanted more. Like, because this is a slasher and it's an like erotic film, sort of, I was expecting not only more explicit content, but also a lot more gore. I just wanted this to be filled with blood and guts and be like super out there. And it just didn't reach what I wanted it to reach. It's still super gory. Uh, and there's like two scenes where there's blood all over it, but it's not as intense as I wanted and I expected, I don't know, I just wanted more out of it. Maybe this is exactly what people wanted and for some people this will be great, like the good amount of gore. I just wanted more from both things, like I wanted more gore and I wanted more like erotic stuff. Uh, again, this might be enough for some people and maybe even more than what people are used to but yeah i don't know i think they could have pushed it farther um and that's what i was expecting so there's that with saying that i'm not saying the film 
is isn't gory or anything and it isn't explicit there's some scenes that are sort of explicit and there's one particular scene that I think it's the most gross out of all the gory scenes that actually happened pretty early in the film. Um, however, I think that due to one thing, which is the lighting, that first scene, that first gory scene happens during the day. So because of that, it is more gruesome and, and more disturbing while like the majority of the kills and everything happens in the night, as I said in the summary. Um, so because it's dark, it's harder to see the gore and the violence. So I think that played a part. Still, it's a gory film. And most of all, it's pretty crazy. It's It gets really, really weird and weird like in an understandable way i think there's a meaning behind everything that happens here which is pretty touching actually there's one scene that felt really sad which is odd for this film uh so i did like the message uh but it definitely gets crazy and weird and yeah also, while I was watching it, I could see a lot of inspirations from other horror films and I think there's like three films that I can really compare these to. It's like this one is a mix of these three films, which are Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th and uh, The Visit. Uh, yeah. I think that's a good mix, but there's also like Shining references and other things. Yeah, I think this is like an homage to a lot of great horror films. So uh, even though I, I, I think that's a little bit on the nose, I also really appreciated it. And in the end, it's a different film. It's not trying to be like any of those films. I just think they took inspiration from those and I'm not mad at it. On a technical level, the cinematography is just like any Thai West movie. It has like a 80s vibe and this is set in 1979. Uh, so it has like that retro feel, uh, interesting editing with split screens um, that it's not super my taste, but it's his style and I can appreciate that. I did love the score, the score was really good. And the acting, as you can expect, is so good, like from everyone. I just wanted a bit more of Jenna Ortega, but I understand it's her character is someone more reserved. And, but in the end, she, definitely turns into the scream queen so yeah I, i'm not mad at it something else that might have hurt the film is the comedic aspects there's for most of it there's a good balance between horror and drama and comedy uh, but sometimes the comedy overpowers like the tension building and because of that, maybe you just don't feel as scared as you could be scared. Uh, with saying that, I do have to say that I jumped in every single jump scare. Uh, there's not a lot, by the way, and I did like that. There's a few, like maybe I would say five, six jump scares, which aren't a lot but they're really well executed and i jumped in every single one of them yeah it's not a bad thing it's actually a pretty good thing so in the end i think this is a really fun slasher and i can see a lot of people really loving this one i i definitely would rewatch it i think it's a really good film to pop up every once in a while to watch and just be entertained and also a good one to watch with friends even though there's some more spicy scenes but yeah i think it's a fun watch 
I just think my expectations did play a part in me not loving it as much as uh, maybe other people and as much as I wanted to because I just had like really really high expectations but still I really enjoyed it and I totally recommend it with that said let's get to my scores so overall I give the film a three and a half out of five I really wanted this to be a four uh, maybe on a rewatch who knows but I think three and a half it's a fair score for this film uh, it's like pretty different in a way it has something different to tell and to show but it also falls into the slasher category and falls into some slasher tropes so yeah I think three and a half it's the perfect score for this film Cinematography, I give it a 3 out of 5, uh, mostly for personal taste. I, as I said, uh, I appreciate his style, it's not super my thing, and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, it does work here, but it just, yeah, it's a taste thing, it's not super my thing. And originality, I give it a 2.5 out of 5. Uh, uh, not only these takes from a lot of other movies, but also there's not something super different to it. There's one aspect that it's different and it, the meaning behind it, it's something that I haven't really seen before. But plot-wise, I do think it's a little bit predictable. Um, besides that one different aspect, I think the kills are predictable and kind of underwhelming in a way, so yeah. So yeah guys, these are my thoughts on X. Uh, if you have seen it already, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to see what everyone thinks of this. Let me know what is your favorite Thai West film. I really like House of the Devil, in a way it's pretty similar to this one, at least the style is basically the same, his cinematography style, directing style, um, it has like a different feel, definitely, but it does get pretty crazy as this one, so yeah, let me know which one is your favorite, what you think of this one, if you liked it, if you didn't, what did you like, what you didn't like did you want more gore out of it as well yeah tell me everything and yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you in my next video bye